excited, dude. I'm super excited. <laughs> you started? Okay. All right, guys. Welcome back to my channels and girls. So, back at EG Fabrications. As you guys can see from the last video, the beast is in. All right, the stock motor, the only motor that we have for this car, is in. Um, it's looking real good right now. Obviously, he has a, he's gonna clean up the bay, make sure it's a lot, of, a little bit more presentable. Obviously, we got that beautiful, beautiful, beautiful manifold. Come, 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 come. Look at the manifold, the schmuck built manifold. Like I'm super impressed with with the quality of the manifold. Sick. Um. Okay, so. Let's start with the front and we'll work our way back. We did the EKK2 subframe. And with running this subframe, I have to let you guys know, in case you didn't know, you need EC2 or EG forks, okay? Obviously, I knew that I needed it, but I said, okay, um, what the hell? Let's see if the other stuff will work. I'm stupid, okay, but uh, <laughs> sometimes my brain goes into a brain fight. So you need these. Another thing, because I'm running a manual rack, this piece right here, the swivel, the U-joint, needs to come from a manual rack, okay guys? It will not work with the power steering U joint. So, this is key. This brand new is $157. That's my price. $157 CAD. Brand new from Honda OEM. I happened to find this piece looking through my storage. My storage had over a thousand little bits and pieces. So, again, I have the Golden Horseshoe because I found it. I'd rather not spend money on this and spend it somewhere else in the car. <clears throat> I have a lot of money to pay this guy. So, money saved is money earned, okay? More go fast parts. Um, these wheels are coming off. I have a set of SIRs going on in the car. We'll figure out tire later. Right now there's some winters on it, but by the time I finish paying this guy off, it'll probably be winter. So we'll just have fun in the snow for today's winter before we drive. Okay, come. I'm only joking about things off the <laughs> Okay, so. Put the camera on him. <laughs> <laughs> you want to explain? Yeah, so explain the fuel setup. Alright. So it's obviously not, you told him that it's going to take a fuel cell already, no? Yeah, so. Yeah. So this fuel cell, I already made the brackets for it. Mounted like this, so it does be fun for the track and stuff. It's gonna be two dash 10 uh, fuel lines going to the dual pumps, and there's reducers on the pumps. You want to show them the dual pumps? Yeah, these are dual pumps. There's reducers on the pumps for dash 8 for big power, big power <laughs> into the line, and then from the line, it's gonna go to the fuel pump, a fuel filter, and it's gonna go straight to the fuel rail from dash 8, and the return line is gonna be. Dash six. Okay. Back to show them that line that you showed me that this car came with. Okay. I don't know. I, I, I think <laughs> the line with. Oh, here it is. Okay, so this this is what was essentially running the car before. Do not trip, please. I can't afford nothing in here. <laughs> um, I, I don't even think this is like a dash four. This is what was running the car. This is terrible. And essentially, like, especially running this on the street, like anything could slice itself. So we went with something quality. We went with a, a nice, this is, I believe this is a dash six here. So this is the return. And this is the dash, this is the dash eight. That's the feed line right here. Um, so pretty much. That is where we are with this setup. 
Uh, after he finishes working on this, look at the craftsmanship of what he welded for me. So look at this, bring it in right here. So this is where the fuel cell is gonna sit on, right, right here, it's gonna be bolted up. Easy access to the pumps, easy access to the div. Um, gonna be nice and sturdy. For the track, it should be able to pass track inspection, as you said. And honestly, it's safe enough for the streets, right? And this is what we're building, a streetcar. Oh, it doesn't have a plate on there now, but it will be plated, guys. Street cars are always plated. Um, we are going to pull out the fuel cell. What am I saying? We. He's going to pull out the fuel cell. <laughs> you know what I mean? He's the one doing all the work. Honestly, I say we, but like I trust this guy so much because you know, one thing I've noticed about my car is he treats it like his own. So he's not going to essentially be putting in anything less than what he thinks is not going to work for his own car, right? And that's what you really want in builds. You want someone who you can trust. You want someone that's gonna look at this car and be like, okay, listen, I wouldn't run this, so I don't think you should run it. And if you look at his car, I don't know if he wants it in the video. <laughs> Sorry. So if you look at this car, this car is set up really well, right? And I'm just hoping to have essentially the baby version of this. You know what I mean? But this car, is like the craftsmanship is second to none. And that's why I brought my car to him because he knows exactly what I want and he's gonna make it happen. You know? And there's not gonna be any corners cut. People, there's so many corners that were cut in this car, I essentially bought a shell. Okay, everything got pulled out of this, this motherfucker, you know? So excuse my language. The bird's probably gonna say motherfucker before him because he knows better. Um, but yeah, uh, what were you saying about the, uh, the fuel okay. line in here? So how he had it rooted, the return line? Yeah. So it wouldn't clear the cover that goes on top of it? Yeah, come over here. So we had it like an inch back and then he cut it around it. You hear that, guys? So there was like a lot of negligence while putting together the fuel setup and essentially what you don't want is out of sight out of mind you don't want that because you can't see it that means it's it's good enough you know what i mean you want to know that whenever you lift the carpet you lift the seats you open the motor you're essentially getting what what you pay for right and i don't have to check up on danny to know that he's going to be giving me uh, the best out of the car because I just know and plus he always messages me at every little thing We'll have a laugh because we see all the, the bulk that comes through this car anyway, so Everything is going to be taken care of in the way that um, I want it and he wants it. It'll be a respectable car when it's done and until then Stay tuned to my next video <laughs>